Victor, I'm here with a new weekly painting and this time I'm going to explain how I will do the, um, the glowing effect on the runes here in that part of the bow and how I, I will also do this as a glowing the, the, this part of the, of the arrow so I will start first applying white and I will apply white on the runes and on on the I need here is not need a lot but I will apply white also here and this is going to be my base color before applying the the glowing and the glowing is going to be on blue because it's the glowing I'm using for all my stonecast eternals so as you can see I just apply layer of white here we, we want to cover quite well so we want a nice white and I'm going to put also white for the top and also inside the hole. Then I'm going to apply white here where we have the runes. And here the point is in that case I'm going to do glowing on runes that are yeah that have so thickness uh, uh, so here yeah. they are not negative they are in positive in that case yeah, later on I will explain on the shot that the the lining is engraved how to do it once if it's engraved instead that is the opposite of this case. As you can see I apply white here. You want to be sure, and maybe I will apply two layers, that the white goes in the recesses. So I will apply a second layer of white here and I will be back once the white is completely applied. Okay, the next color I'm going to use it's Bajaro Blue and I'm going to first um, thin it down a lot so I will put, put here as you can see I will put a little bit of Bajaro Blue Bajaro Blue is an edge paint from Gage Workshop only you only can buy it uh, by website or just asking the shop that it's ordering the, it for you and then I will use Lamia Medium to dilute it you can see I'm going to dilute it quite a lot I'm going to check I want to do like a wash because I'm going to put this where I have the runes so I will put a little bit more no. I'm going to take a little bit very thin and I will put a layer where I have the runes. I will do the same here. Okay. The same here. same here okay you see and then on the arrow I will do a wash as well I will apply it all over the place and as it is representing that is glowing from the arrow head we will start going a little bit on top of the wood and the way to work it is I do like a glaze that way will look like more reflection and on the metal which will 
we need to make a reflection here and also we want to move it a little bit here so especially in the corner we need to let it dry and then do a little bit more but this is just to start showing where I want this to be and then also on the hand the hand I will take it color less thin take the original color take a little bit here and I don't think that much remember this Baharo blue with Lamia medium to know I will apply a little bit stronger here reflecting the arrow and you can do also the bottom of these things so you want to make I don't want to make it too bright I don't want to do too much just pointing some parts to imagine how the light will reflect part should be reflecting the light from the arrow We need to let it dry, and once this dries, we can do the next step. So I will wait until this dries before applying more color because now it's too thin. We'll apply a little more because I did the wash to be able to pop up the runes. So I'll just. see the hand I change the color completely to blue and then we are going to do a wash later on because it's representing the reflection on the wood we are not going on the wood we are not going to put more because I think this is enough then here I will take darker blue temple guard blue to do some of the shades you want to keep everything quite bright because if it's not bright then will be will will be gone because 
the daily light because this is all in daily light if not you cannot see the rest of the colors will overrun so this is Little bit here. Okay. To use, I'm going to use the blue shade. I have the Azurman blue, and with the Azurman blue, I'm going to do again the, the fingers. So I'm going to put this in recesses between the fingers of the cloth. I will apply a little bit of the temperature blue. I will keep the hand darker as it's further from the light. So in that way, it's matching well. I will put very some darker blue here. To simulate the diffraction of the light, something like that. We can make another wash where we have the runes. Later on, we will need to. Maybe apply a little bit of white to pop up the runes a little bit. I'm going to use gold now. I'm using retributor armor for that. The idea now is to do soft transition from the blue. I will mix a little bit to the gold. So you want to do like a greenish color here that is where we have the transition. And you don't need to go to darker in that case. It represents the gold is getting tint with the light.
uh, will look like. Now the last thing I will do is I will use white again. I will use white. This is the part that will need to do the color of the light source bright, really bright. So let's put some white here. some white here as well like way okay then as I say we can now use the white to improve the resolution of the rooms we have to be careful that the white is completely dry like that This should be the glowing. We are right here, and I think this should be enough. We can make some bright blue reflecting especially on the edges because when we mix with the gold we do a little bit too much but normally when you have a polished metal the edge the edge will reflect quite well the light we will have sharp lines session and this is a way to show that these arrows because indeed this guy is sh shooting magical arrows
So I think this should be enough uh, for now. I think this will give the sensation of a magical arrow and magical ball. So that's all for this video. I hope you find it interesting and, and you like it. So remember, first I do, I paint the um, crossbow and everything around it as it is finished. And then I work on top of that. And then um, going back, I start with a base of white scar. Then I use very dilute Baharo blue to start the limiting the zones and I start uh, um, using a little bit thicker to limit the zones. I mix a little bit with Temple Guard Blue to do some of the dark parts. Then with the gold I mix it with um, uh, Retributor Armor to make the transition soft, not to make a harsh edge. And finally, uh, on the, in, in the case, uh, I do this on the shade the shade uh, on the spaces between the fingers of the glow and it is the work that I did here I hope you find it interesting and yeah and you can reapply it like that and yeah later on I will explain how to do the same here on the sword how to do a magical sword for this guy and I will do the same if you want to know uh, any other technique that I'm using uh, you see something in the video that you want to see later on please let me know I'm always open uh, if you have questions don't hesitate that maybe I did a tutorial before maybe I didn't so if I didn't I'm very open to to try to explain how I do the different things on these guys uh, I hope yeah uh, please comment below uh, like if you like it well, yeah, let me know if you want to see more. And that's all for now. Thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye. Mm -hmm.